St. Mary's is one of the strongest churches in the south side of Birmingham. It's an active church, it's a vibrant community, and we're drawing people from all over because St. Mary's is a wonderful community of people. The mission of St. Mary's is a place of worship. It's a place where I can be educated about Christ and the Christian religion and my faith. And it's a place where my faith can grow. And I really view the place, the location, as a place that can shape people. We're shaped in the act of worship. We're shaped in the participation in education. We're shaped in groups that gather around to study and to pray and to reflect together. And that has been something that has become more and more important in the life of this particular church. The church was founded in February 1887. From what I gather, the founding of St. Mary's really started as a Sunday school during the summer months from the Church of the Advent. The Highlands was an elevated area, suburb of Birmingham. So this was a cooler location for them in the summer. It ended up being a place where they decided to build this church. This particular church and the founding congregation, when they began to move stained glass into the worship space, every single piece of stained glass has the image of Christ. So they're saying very intentionally, we are a Christ-centered congregation. I have lots of memories of sitting on the third pew as a child and watching different preachers preach and coming to know and understand God. I've seen so many children deepen their relationship with God and adults too that have come to love God in a special way personally. I would say one of my favorite things about St. Mary's is definitely the family feel that you have here looking around and seeing so many generations of families, but also because I'm so invested in the catechesis of the Good Shepherd program, that program is so special to me. It was really life-changing going through the training that I would never take my children anywhere where they would not be receiving that kind of Christian education on Sundays. So the future of St. Mary's obviously is going to be our youth. These kids know so much, and it's really a beautiful thing to see. The hope is these youth will grow up in this church, get married in this church, and be members of this church. Catechesis of the Good Shepherd is, is the heart of our education for, for young children, and it's changing the dynamics of the church. It's changing how we as clergy worship with the congregation, and we are completely out of space for atriums. It's amazing that the physical building of St. Mary's has served the community for as long as it has. There are people in our community that we want to serve that we can't serve as well with disabilities or special needs because of the old-fashioned nature of our building. I think the reality is that this church needs to move into the 21st century with our building, not just our congregation and our parishioners, but also with our building. This church has not had a significant renovation since the early 70s. We at St. Mary's need improvements to our facility in order to do this, to serve the mission of this church. I have been really focused on this is a grassroots movement. This is not something that has come from the top down. It has been a slow, deliberate, prayerful process. It's actually coming from the congregation. The need is driven by numbers, but our need is also being driven by years of deferred maintenance and lack of attention to an education and fellowship facility. I think that St. Mary's definitely needs to embark on this capital campaign for the renovations. One of the first things that comes to my mind is the antiquated mechanical system, the air conditioning and heating systems. We've been putting a Band-Aid on so many areas in the Drennan House and in the sanctuary for years. It's really beyond being able to do that anymore. I'm really looking forward to the improved facility. It's past time. We need to prepare this building for future generations of St. Mary's members. We will have, through what is now the chapel that will be moved, we will have a big walkway that will go 
directly from the sanctuary into Drennan House. The connector to me is an important part of all this. It brings people together. It gives us access for someone that might be in a wheelchair to go to every floor in this church, which they don't currently have the ability to do that. The plans show that our offices will all be together, not only our priests and administrative, but also our youth offices will be with them. Right now, they're over in Drennan House. For us, it'll be the biggest commitment, charitable commitment we'll make of any kind for years to come, or have ever made. But to me, it's important because somebody provided this facility for me. Our gift is not done out of a need to do it, but it's done out of a joy of wanting to do it. I am convinced that St. Mary's on the Highlands, with what I have seen, with what I have been a part of, will be the leading church in the Diocese of Alabama. And I am hoping and praying that this congregation will take a deep look at themselves and will say, I want that church that has been a central part of my life, my family's life, I want it to exist for the next 150 years and I'm willing to be a part of it. This is our opportunity as a group of people to say that the mission of St. Mary's on the Highlands is going to continue.